Hello, and welcome to the CPD presentation on Render on Timber Frame. In this presentation, I will outline some key considerations when choosing how to finish your timber frame and why it's so important to choose the right materials. We're going to run through a quick introduction to the company, followed by an overview of the main types of construction in UK housing. We can then look at the main considerations when looking to achieve a rendered finish on timber frame, and of course, how you achieve this. We'll then follow this up with a quick summary. SAS Europe Limited is a UK-based manufacturer and supplier of external render systems and accessories. With over 20 years supplying high-quality materials, SAS continues to innovate and create advanced systems and solutions tailoring the latest materials to match the construction method, specifying systems and solutions that aren't just fit for purpose, but designed for purpose. Based in the southwest of England, SAS distribute nationwide, offering fast delivery direct to site. SAS Europe's product range consists of ProBead UPVC render beads, ProRend Color and GoRend through color monocouche renders, ProRend premium base coats and a selection of paints, ProRend EFs external insulation systems, and ProWall rendered rain screen systems. Whether building a single house or a large development, one of the first decisions to be made is how will the building be constructed. While there are many construction methods available, in the UK there are two main contenders, masonry or timber frame. Let's have a look at masonry first. The arguably traditional method of brick or block construction, making up approximately 70% of all new homes in the UK. Usually built in two leaves with an internal blockwork wall and an external wall built of block, brick or stone. Masonry built houses are solid, often comprising of brick or block internal partitions that can also play a structural role. All the materials are relatively cheap, and many builders would prefer to build in brick or block, so the overall cost tends to be very competitive. The main disadvantage of a masonry build is the construction time. The average masonry build can easily take 20 weeks or more to reach completion, and this doesn't account for the British weather, which can quickly stop play on site. When it comes to the finish, you've got a huge number of options available. The outer leaf of the construction can be brick or stonework, or alternatively, you can build in block and finish with a traditional render. Achieving a rendered finish of masonry is a breeze. Many render systems can be applied directly to blockwork by hand or even using a spray machine, with no need for a base coat. You can even choose a through colour render so there's no need to paint. SAS offers our premium through colour render products, ProRend Colour and GoRend for exactly this. As long as the structure is sound and all relevant specifications and building practices have been followed, masonry construction gives you a perfect substrate for a rendered finish. Now on to the second option that we're really here to focus on, timber frame construction. The term timber frame, or half timbered, first appeared in the Encyclopedia of Architecture in 1842. In Europe, we can still see timber frame buildings from the 16th century surviving today. Many variants of timber frame have appeared throughout the years, and while the concept of timber frame is clearly well established, these are a far cry from today's methods of treated softwood frame construction. Implementing modern materials, vapour barriers, and highly efficient insulation to maximise the longevity and minimise the build time. Timber frame construction is preferential when looking at the following. Speed of construction. Cost, as the costs are fixed, which allows certainty of budget. Environmentally friendly, as long as you're sourcing from well-managed forests. Factory controlled quality assurance in fabrication. Flexible design, there's very little limitations in the design process. And thermal insulation, this can easily be improved all the way up to passive house standard. Roughly 22% of all new homes in the UK are built with a timber frame construction. 
The timber frame construction market is predicted to grow by more than £40 million a year through to 2024, as more developers recognise the fast build times and eco-credentials of using timber. The 2020 Timber Frame Construction Report by MTW Research suggests that the timber frame housing market is outpacing traditional methods. Timber frame companies will often manufacture the frame sections in their factory and send their own professionals to erect the frame on site. The timber frame acts as a main structure, so there's no need for internal load-bearing walls and stud walls can quickly be put in place without restriction on their location. A key advantage to timber frame construction is the speed of on-site construction, with many frames going up in a matter of days and the combination of on-site and off-site construction, minimal wet trades and quick installation means that bad weather on-site is less of a problem. If we have a look at the makeup of a typical external timber frame wall, insulation is normally installed within the frame as specified. Ply or OSB is then fitted to enclose the outside of the frame and is covered with a breather membrane to prevent water ingress while maintaining breathability. When it comes to finishing the external facade of a timber frame, there are a number of options available to you. A typical approach for house builders is to build an external skin of either finished brickwork or blockwork to receive a rendered finish. This is achieved by creating a clear cavity and building a separate wall that's tied back to the frame. This achieves a traditional masonry outer wall, which can be brick finished or traditionally rendered. While this works well, it does mean that you're adding a masonry process to the build, which comes with its own lengthy timescale and can be affected by the weather. The foundation will also need to be wider to accommodate the external masonry, and if the windows are to be fitted to the masonry, this also extends the time to achieve water tightness. If you're looking for a way to give your timber frame a render finish without the inconvenience of having to build an additional wall, there are a few options available to you. But before we take a look at these options, let's look at some key considerations. Weatherproofing. As in any form of construction, we want the building to be weatherproof. There is, however, an additional emphasis when working with timber. Timber is by nature porous and susceptible to rot if constantly exposed to water. For this reason, whatever we use to clad the exterior must keep the rain out. Ventilation. Having a nice warm house is what we all want to achieve, no matter how cold it is outside. Modern insulation materials enable us to create incredibly efficient homes. But, as we know, where warm air meets cold surfaces, condensation can form. For the same reason we weatherproof the building, it's important we don't allow condensation to build up and become trapped anywhere in the construction. The breather membrane does a great job of letting the vapour pass out of the mainframe and stopping any moisture seeping back in. But what about after that? We've got additional battens that we need to protect. That's why it's imperative to fully ventilate the cavity and allow the condensation to escape and any residual moisture to evaporate. Movement. Timber frame construction is a subject to movement. That's a fact that most of us in the construction industry accept. But let's have a look at why that is. Wood is a hydroscopic material, which means its moisture content changes in respect to its environment. If we take a closer look at the cell structure, we can get a better idea of what this means. The moisture in the cells exists in two main forms, either as free water in the cell cavity, or as bound water moisture content that's chemically bound to the wood fibres in the cell walls. This is usually around 30% of the total moisture content. In freshly cut or saturated wood, all of the cell cavities are full of free water. As the wood begins to dry out, the free water starts to deplete. When the cell cavities are empty, but the cell walls still retain the bound water, the wood is said to be at its fibre saturation point, or FSP. As the moisture content continues to fall below the fibre saturation point, the bound water is lost from the wood fibres. This process causes the timber to shrink laterally. In constant conditions of temperature and relative humidity, 
Timber will eventually reach a constant moisture content known as the Equilibrium Moisture Content, or EMC. Movement occurs because in practice a stable EMC is never reached. As the humidity changes, so will the saturation, causing the timber to shrink and swell retrospectively. The resulting shrinkage only affects the cross-sectional dimensions of the wood, and not along the grain. This makes it possible for us to pinpoint the areas in a timber frame where movement will occur. Knowing where to expect movement means that we can make allowances to compensate for any movement in cross-grain timber. This is usually found at floor zones, where sole plates and rim beams are located and where there's a high concentration of cross-grain timber. This is an example of what can happen if movement isn't allowed for. As you can see, the floor zones have contracted and the render has clearly been pushed out. So how do we apply render to timber frame without building an additional masonry wall? Traditionally, battens would be fixed through the OSB and back to the frame, and an EML or expanded metal lath with building paper would be fixed to the studs over the entirety of the frame. A render would then normally be applied to the EML, normally as a two coat system, and finished as desired. While this method is still used today, it is declining in popularity as it's becoming increasingly apparent that this method has some potential pitfalls. Thermal expansion and contraction coupled with movement seen in timber frame construction can cause the render to crack, and in worst cases, delaminate from the surface. If we have a look at these photos, you can see exactly that's happened. So what do we suggest? Using a designed for purpose board system. Our pro wall system comprises of 25 by 75 millimeter battens fixed back to the frame. Our pro board cementitious render carrier board creates a rain screen, forming a clear cavity from the main superstructure, allowing the building to breathe. A lightweight flexible base coat is then applied fully embedded with a fiberglass reinforcement mesh. A colour primer is then applied by brush or roller, and a through colour flexible silicon thin coat render to finish, providing exceptional protection from the elements. If we take a look at our installation video filmed here in our training centre, we can appreciate how all of these components work together. The Pro Board is fixed using stainless steel screws. This specifically designed render carrier board has an A1 fire rating and it can also be flexed to a radius of one and a half meters to accommodate the most ambitious designs. ProRend Light is a highly polymer modified base coat, formulated to give incredible adhesion and allow an element of flexibility, perfectly suiting the timber frame application. The ProMesh Grade 3 is fully embedded in the base coat, reinforcing the entire area and providing an additional layer of crack resistance. Colortex Primer is applied to the base coat, pre-colouring the surface and ensuring excellent colour coverage. The final application of ProRend Colortex Silicon Top Coat provides an attractive finish that's available in a wide variety of colours and is supplied pre-mixed in buckets to ensure colour consistency.
Pro Wheel system also incorporates a slip joint detail to allow movement between floor zones. The slip joint is made up of two sections that allow completely independent movement between floors. You can see from this mock-up just how much movement can be absorbed without putting any undue stress on the rendered surface. Let's have a look at why you might want to look at ProWall for your timber frame. ProWall is used to create clean, modern lines with a thin coat render, giving you a fine 1.5mm uniform finish which is highly weather resistant. Through careful detailing and considering every part of the installation, SAS are able to offer a complete system with ProWall, offering a BBA certification of up to 60 years. Additional advantages of the system include exceptional fire rating of A2S1D0, allowing the system to be used above 18 metres. A highly flexible crack resistant rendered finish available in over 65,000 colours. A low overall system weight of just 23 kilos per square metre. And a category 1 impact resistance. Here's a few examples of some completed Pro Wall projects. This system allows you to achieve a fully rendered finish without the need to build a masonry wall. This keeps down build times and only requires a small weather window. The silicon render gives you a highly water repellent facade more than satisfying the need for weatherproofing and the system is fully ventilated and detailed to allow movement where required. In summary, timber frame construction is a great way to build, saving you a lot of time and giving you total freedom of design. To really maximise its potential, you need to work with systems that aren't just adapted to work with timber frame, but designed to work with timber frame. Always ensure movement between floor zones is accounted for. Ensure full ventilation is achieved to avoid any moisture related problems. And wherever possible, work with a system that's been third party tested and accredited. At SAS Europe, our technical team is on hand to work with you through every stage of the development. Whether it's timber frame, masonry, or any other form of construction, we can offer guidance, specification, samples and support to ensure your project looks fantastic and stays that way. I really hope that you found this presentation useful and if you've got a timber frame project or any other project that you want to discuss with us, please contact our technical team on 01647 24620 or send us an email at info at sas-europe.com. Thanks a lot for watching.